Hey, this is Bill Bird here with Keller Williams Realty. Just wanted to check in with you. Uh, last Thursday, I was at the Chamber of Commerce Business in Your Backyard presentation on the 526 extension, the Mark Clark extension. And I filmed this uh, video flyover that they were playing uh, live at the time with my iPhone. Uh, I don't believe this uh, video is on their website live yet. So this is probably a, a good first look for you there. And Charles. Connector A would connect the Mark Clark Extension to River Road near Russian Landing and Murray Wood Drive, west of Maiden Highway. We will see Connector A at its intersection with River Road in more detail later. The Mark Clark Extension would be, remain elevated as it crosses over Maiden Highway and approaches Connector B. Connector B would also connect the Mark Clark Extension to River Road just east of Midway Highway. We will see Connector B in its proposed intersection at River Road in more detail later. East of Connector B, the parkway will become elevated once more as it curves to leave John's Island and bridge the Stoner River and surrounding marsh for a second time entering James Island. Once across the marsh, the Mark Clark Extension would begin to descend as it approaches Riverwood Drive. Linton medians would be provided along the roadway in this area of the parkway. The intersection of Riverwood Drive would be at ground level and includes a new traffic signal. Riverwood Drive would be wired to provide turn lanes at this intersection. The multi-use path would continue along Riverwood Drive to the entrance of the James Island County Park, completing this key regional pedestrian and bicycle connection. As the parkway continues from this intersection, the multi-use path would now be located along the eastbound travel lanes. The Mark Clark extension would cross over Riley Road and up on the Hill Road. As you can see, the area between Riverland Drive and Folly Road would also include abandoned meetings. New ramps would be constructed to complete the interchange between the Mark Clark Extension and Folly Road. The multi-use path would continue along Folly Road to Oak Point Road. Folly Road would be widened between Central Park Road and Oak Point Road to provide turn lanes for the new interchange as well as new bike lanes, a new multi-use path, and new sidewalk. The existing ramps between Folly Road and the James Island Connector would stay in the same locations and new ramps would be constructed between the Mark Clark Extension and Folly Road. project would end just east of the Folly Road Interchange. Now let's take a closer look at connectors A and B, River Road, and Maybe Highway. Connector A refers to the western connection between Mark Clark Extension and River Road that would provide access to the areas west of Bay Bank Highway. Connector A would be partially elevated, crossing the marsh in this area. The multi-use path would also follow Connector A to the signalized intersection with River Road. River Road would be lined at Connector A to provide turn lanes. Outside the intersection areas, River Road will remain a two-lane roadway. As River Road approaches Maybank Highway, it would be widened to provide turn lanes, as would Maybank Highway.
Moving east from Maywood Highway along River Road, we approached the signalized intersection and connector B. River Road would also be widened in this area to provide turn lanes. The multi-use path would follow connector B along its east side from River Road to the Mark Clark Extension to connect to the multi-use path along the westbound lane. Thank you for viewing this flat through simulation of